This is Calabrios! Think about it is WBA Super Middleweight Champion Andre Ward will be returning to action in September after having been out of the ring due to an injured right shoulder that requires surgery to repair the problem. Now Ward is hoping to lower former WBA middleweight champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. into the ring to fight him. If Chavez Jr. says yes, which Calabrios highly doubts, then Ward wants to fight him at the end of the year or early 2014. Now Ward doesn't have a lot of options available to him unfortunately. He's at the stage where he's good, um, well, you know, he's so good that uh, none of the top super middleweights want to fight him and he already whooped Carl Frotch and Miss Gessler. It's not even interesting anymore. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing Ward face Chavez Jr., but I don't uh, know if uh, Chavez Jr. is for more or Bob Arum will ever allow him to fight, face a guy like Ward. I find it's too much of a mismatch, and Chavez Jr. wouldn't have a a, a re real uh, weight advantage like he was when he was in the fights with the middleweight contenders. Now, Ward is a super middleweight, and he fights in the uh, 170s, so Chavez Jr. would only have a small weight advantage over Ward, and not nearly enough to do them with what he'd been uh, doing against the lighter middleweights that Chavez Jr. built up in his flated resume on. Now, Ward isn't happy about the road boxing councils, Elevating him to a Mantis WBC champion at 167. They took Ward's strap and put it on the line for Saki Albica and Marco Antonio Baraban to fight for next month on June 22nd at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. In the big scheme of things, it doesn't really matter all that much because Ward should have had to, uh, to fight Bika sooner or later anyways, but Ward is happy the WBC stripped him of his title so quickly. Bika will no doubt easily beat Baraban next month. And I'll set up uh, a Ward Bika rematch if Ward wants to bother going after the WBC strap.